Hello there and welcome to this personality traits of the most enigmatic sign of the zodiac, the Scorpio. What is that expression on your faces? The moment you ask someone the zodiac sign and if the person answers, it's a Scorpio, you sense that funny feeling inside, isn't it? A little bit awkward. Some of you are literally scared when somebody says, I'm a Scorpio. It's like a warning. Okay, you're a Scorpio. Oh, oh, okay, you are a Scorpio. And then inside something says, take care, don't mess with him or don't mess with her, right? So this sign is the most enigmatic sign, is the most mysterious sign of the zodiac. So how do you make out a Scorpio? For me, a Scorpio is a person of innate wisdom. They are extremely, extremely intelligent people of the zodiac. Because they have come, they are born as a Scorpio because they have the innate knowledge of birth and death. So I would say they are the Alpha and the Omega. Because they really know all the mysteries of the birth and death. And they are born under the sign of Scorpio. If you're a Scorpio son, you are born under that sign because you have to transform. You are the transformers, I would say. You are the transformers of the zodiac. You are born under that sign. And if you are born under the sign of Scorpio, excuse me, life is not going to be extremely fair with you on certain things. because you have to transform. And to transform, you have to go through the process of transformation. And who said transformation was easy? Many a times in the lives of Scorpios, there are traumas. Many of them face this trauma in childhood, wherein uh, they were abused uh, verbally. Some Scorpios, when they grow up, in their teenage also they are kind of maybe some thing related to the family happens like the parents uh, kind of a traumatic breakup of parents or separation causes them anxiety and trauma inside and then the quest starts for some it comes after marriage after a very bad marriage the problem starts so for a Scorpio this is what I see is always there is a lesson of transformation waiting for them. How do you recognize a Scorpio? Well, the Scorpios are extremely innocent looking people. Just look at them. You will not even, you will not even feel that if you don't know their sign, you will not feel that this person is a Scorpio because they have such an innocence on their face. They are quite good looking people with innocent faces. Some of them have really baby baby faces, I would say. They have this innocent baby-like charm, child-like charm they have on their faces. And their exterior is extremely cool, very composed, very, you know, reserved, very discreet, secretive. That's the word for you guys. Very secretive, yes? Nothing is out of proportion. Everything is very much under control. For me, Scorpios are like ice blocks. You'll see Scorpios are ice blocks, but they are passionate. They are fire, yes. The ice block which encloses a bubbling volcano inside of them. They have this bubbling volcano. The lava is boiling all the time inside of them. And you never know. This is very nicely protected, very nicely reserved, very cool, very nice. But then if you provoke them, the slava can explode without giving any prior warnings. That's a Scorpio. How do you recognize them in public? You just, you're going and then usually Scorpios try to be mysterious okay like sometimes they are like those invisible people you don't see them they, they make themselves invisible actually make themselves invisible and how most of the times they love to wear black 
so you know you don't look at them it's like the black is the color of shadow black is the color of death yes so they are very invisible people like the typical Pluto uh, Scorpios yeah but of course I feel Mars plays an important role in their lives because they're so determined and so passionate about everything and then some of them are like a live wire as if you feel as if you have touched a naked electric wire you cannot handle the dynamism you cannot handle the energy they are like all over they are like just all over so these are the two kinds and why would you say how come there are two kinds of Scorpio excuse me but this is the only sign which has three kinds in them Pisces are two signs Libra has two things balance yes Gemini is two but the Scorpio is three one is the typical Scorpio the cold very composed cold very silent yet extremely intelligent and cutting Scorpio the other one is the passionate Mars driven inside there is the passion of Mars determination achievement never say die this kind of the kind of eagle you know which rises high in the sky and goes above all the difficulties and then again pounces back comes takes its prey yeah takes the prey higher and higher and higher and then comes down and just throws it down you're this kind of a person personality the second personality of the Scorpio is like that of an eagle and the third personality of the Scorpio is the extremely self-destructive Scorpio who has not understood what powers lie inside because they haven't been expressed until today because of all this bitterness of so many years the heart has become like the graveyard of all those hurting memories and this third type of Scorpio is destroying themselves inside of them slowly slowly the health is getting affected falling into different kind of addictions like alcohol like drugs falling deeper and deeper so these are the three types of Scorpios but there is one thing common of how to know a Scorpio rather how to spot out a Scorpio look into their eyes their eyes are their identity many a times you will see that the Scorpios wear dark glasses you know why they just want to hide their eyes because these eyes are like the x-ray machines they dig deep they are penetrating eyes you feel naked in front of a Scorpio excuse me to use this word but you feel naked when a Scorpio looks at you you feel that all your secrets are exposed because when you look into a Scorpio eyes you cannot stand that gaze you cannot stand that penetration of those eyes into your eyes you cannot stand it I have tried it once I like to you know challenge so <laughs> I looked into the eyes of a Scorpio and believe me I couldn't hold that gaze more than two minutes after I had a very strong headache to start with and secondly I felt as if something strange inside of me something moved inside of my heart as if those hypnotic eyes those intense eyes had cut something inside of me I felt that this is the identity they are x-ray machines their eyes extremely intense they have very beautiful eyes like they come in all shades right from the black eyes to the brown eyes to the uh, you know gray green and they, they really have very beautiful eyes and what is the beauty in their eyes is their intensity no matter what the shape of the eyes is how small how large the eyes are they have that intensity I would almost say the surgeon's eyes 
intensity, intensely. They will look into your eyes and they will reveal all the secrets of your soul. You cannot lie to a Scorpio. You can never lie to a Scorpio. Take my words. Write it down. Even if you try, 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 go <laughs> accept my challenge. Go and try to lie to a Scorpio. The Scorpio asks you something and try to lie to them. They will just like, mm-hmm. And then suddenly they'll look into your eyes. <laughs> That's it. You are finished there. <laughs> your whole identity is revealed. Your lie has been exposed and you feel so guilty in front of them and you feel like a criminal in front of them when you lie to them. They are the human lie detectors. They have that inside of them. Have you, have you ever noticed <laughs> the Scorpio, okay? You go and tell them, you guys are really good. But really, Scorpios, you're really good. I'm selling it to you. And you know what you're telling me inside? I can hear you right now. Yes, we know that. Because the Scorpio knows. The Scorpio has an intense ego, but has intense knowledge about who they are. You don't need to tell them who they are. By the way, what am I doing here? Why am I speaking to you? Because I love you guys and I just wanted to, you know, dig deep into my favorite subject and that was the Scorpio. So you tell a Scorpio, you know, you have a wonderful voice. Maybe you should start singing on the radio or, you know, you should make a career out of it. And they are doing something, you know, just, and they just look at you and say, yeah, I know. Okay. <laughs> I didn't say anything, but it is not out of as if they are boasting or as if they are arrogant. It's not because of that that they are saying, yes, I know. Oh, you're very good looking. Oh, you're very beautiful. Yes, I know. It's, it's not to hurt your, it's not to, you know, repel back your, <laughs> your praise to you. Just the thing is that they really know. They know who they are. They know what they are doing and they know why they are doing it. You know, you insult a Scorpio and it's like pouring water on a duck's back. It doesn't affect. It doesn't affect them. You can do it with an intent of hurting them. Use the sharpest words and try to insult a Scorpio. It doesn't affect them. They'll be like, hmm. It's like pouring water on the duck's back when I say that. That means no matter how much you pour, everything is just going, rolling over the backs. Nothing affects them. No matter what the insult is and also the compliments won't affect them. For two minutes they feel fine but then they don't budge an inch. They are like, okay, fine. Either they, they might accept your compliments, your appraisal with a polite, you know, smile or saying thank you. Or they might start wondering about your motives and intentions. What does he or she want from me? Why suddenly these compliments? This is how they will try to find it out just by looking into your eyes. Are you genuine when you say good things about them or are you lying about them? This is one of those lie detectors things happening right in front of your eyes and you can't do anything about it. You, well, If you mean it, say it to a Scorpio. If you don't mean it, just don't say it. As simple as that. A lot has been spoken about the Scorpio jealousy and possessiveness. And yes, why not? As they are extremely intense. You know what? They are extremely emotional beings. Now I'm coming to the depth of the Scorpios that I saw. Extremely emotional, extremely sensitive. They are hypersensitive, I would say. 
more than a Piscean, more than a Piscean. The Pisces is supposed to be the most sensitive of the zodiac, but no, it is the Scorpio. And you know why? And they suffer a lot. Pisces can forget, but Scorpio never forgets, never, never, never forgets. If you are the cause of their suffering, they will never forgive nor forget you. Both are intact, no matter what you are recorded here. And next time, they will attack you, firstly, very coldly. Secondly, they will make you feel how it feels, yeah, how it feels to hurt someone. And then again, they will take the real you know, revenge, so-called. They are, they are said to be revengeful. But I don't call them revengeful. I call them the teachers. You do bad to them. You say something wrong and harsh to them. And then you expect them to be, okay, goody, goody with you. How is that possible? They are transformers. They are going to transform everything. And this is their way of transforming. And their way of transforming is serving you a bit more than you gave to them. If you had given them half a cup of poison, they will fill it up and give it to you. If you gave them this much of love, they will give you this much of love. If you treat them right, they will treat you the best. It's as simple as that. If you are in a relationship with a Scorpio, remember this. Nothing goes unnoticed in this relationship. You have to understand their deepest emotions that they don't reveal because they're extremely sensitive. Mostly the Scorpios reveal their affection by doing things for their loved ones. They will be very caring, even if they don't speak a lot. They might be very caring towards the loved one. If you are sick, if something happens to you when you are around them, they will be there. They will guide you. But with very cold, composed way. Not like, oh, what happened? Oh, you know, no, no, no. This is not their style. This is not their style. They might shed tears back in their room. They'll go close the doors and cry. But they will never show that in front of you. They will be cold, composed in front of you. Even if inside the heart is crying, the soul is crying out, they will be there, they will assist you, they will help you. You need to understand that in them. Many a times, many Scorpios end up divorced, separated, just because they couldn't express themselves, just they, because they couldn't communicate. Their way of showing love is so different. They will torture the object of their affection. If they are torturing you when in a relationship, you have to know that this person loves me so much but cannot show it. They are so sensitive inside that they just, they just cannot show it. They just, you know, everything inside, inside. They can show anger, however, very easily. They can be very sharp and cutting only with one word or with silence, absolute silence. And then you feel, let this earth, you know, open and take me inside. I don't want to leave because I am in love with the Scorpio and the Scorpio is not treating me right. I said something, the person got hurt, doesn't speak to me for days, months, years. What am I supposed to do? That is the venom of the Scorpio. But what did you do? Because that, as you see, the Scorpio has the sting, right? And the sting contains poison. And if the sting is not given out, the Scorpio dies inside of them. And this is the third type category of Scorpio, which never gives out anything but suffers inside bitterness. A lot of bitterness is there in these kind of Scorpios. A lot of bitterness which has been inside the heart for very long, for many years. Unsaid things. And that spoils their mental and physical being. 
So you have to take care of that, my dear Scorpio. If you are this type of Scorpio, because as I said, there were three types. The first type will settle the accounts then and there. You can't do anything. You have done it. You have to pay for it. That's it. Accounts settle. The second type is takes you, you know, I mean, will show that they have forgotten about it and then strike back at you. They will completely show, okay, I didn't mind anything. But after when you are the most vulnerable, this second type, like the eagle, will strike back. And the third type is the bitterness, the bitterness, taking this bitterness all the time inside of them, burying it, burying it, and then just becoming silent and cold that you just feel helpless. You cannot revive this relationship anymore. So take care about those things, my dear Scorpio. And those of you who are in a relation with Scorpio, please see those, you know, that this is, this is the way they are. You have to love every bit of them because they are the ones who give a lot also. We don't see that. We just speak about Scorpios are this and Scorpios are that. But no, there is that depth inside of them. Have you ever tried to go deeper into in, inside of them? Have you ever tried to dig deep inside of them to see, to unveil what exactly they are? They don't allow anyone to enter into their most private world because they like to be isolated, solitary. This is how they are. But have you tried? Because once you get to uncover those hard toppings there, inside they are so soft. They are so loving. They are so protective. Fiercely loyal and devoted they can be. But if you show doubt, if you are yourself unstable, they will not forgive you then you will be paid in the same coin. I would say not in the same, but a bit with interest also. They are wonderful parents, very protective parents, especially if the child is weaker, their heart will go out to defend. If somebody, if there, it's a Scorpio parent whose child has a small handicap or something. And if someone says something about that child, you will just see the Scorpio becomes mad this is where that ice block melts and the volcano erupts from inside. And you are like, oh my God, what happened? So they are extremely, extremely protective parents. And it's like for them, if they are committed to something, they are committed to something. No matter what it is, their commitment, be it to their job, be it to their family, be it to their friends, that's a commitment. They are the most loyal people to have around you. If you have really made a place in their hearts, that is. Have you seen a Scorpio friend? Your Scorpio friend will never leave you. They will defend you. They will be by your side. But if you play games with them, then they will never leave you either. <laughs> you are going to get back what you deserve. So never mess with a Scorpio. Never. It's all about lessons. For me, they are like Saturn, actually, planet Saturn, which comes and teaches you lessons and leaves you transformed. If I have to imagine Scorpio as a number, for me, it's the zero, because it's the beginning, the zero. And the zero, where it begins, it ends there. Because uh, Scorpio is like a phoenix, you know, it will rise from his ashes. A Scorpio never dies, never dies. I think nev never say no comes from a Scorpio. <laughs> this quotation comes from there. Or never say die because they never die. They are always, you know, they go, they come back, they go, they come back. This is what happens many times. It is meant to be like that because this is the sign of death and birth and rebirth. Now for Scorpios, when it comes to jobs, what kind of jobs should Scorpios do, they say? I don't need to tell you that also. You're intense, 
you like the depth. Scorpio is all about the depth. Whatever needs probing, whatever needs that sharp penetration, whatever needs precision, there is the Scorpio. Whatever is hidden and needs to be exposed, that is for the Scorpio. So what is it? Well, astrology to start with. The most finest astrologers, I suppose, must be under the sign of Scorpios because they just expose whatever is hidden, be it the planets, be it the personality traits, be it whatever it is, they will expose it. Surgeons with precision, they will go and they will perform the surgery. Very good surgeons come under this zodiac sign also just like Aquarians also are very good surgeons so the Scorpio are very the Scorpios are very good surgeons also they can be very good archaeologists because again it is about exposing what is hidden what is deep inside they will dig inside and they will expose it this is what they are the other things that are very good for the Scorpios are that they can be detectives. Whatever is hidden, wherever it's hidden, detectives, spies, the best spies, the best detectives can be the Scorpios and also the best spiritual leaders also because this is all about spirituality is all about exposing the things that are hidden in the cosmos, in the universe. They have the deepest knowledge. They have come with it. They are born with it. Only they have to unveil it on this path, path on this earth. And many a times they don't do that. And so they have to come back again to complete their mission. Scorpios, if you see, they have really, uh, they have, um, how do you say, a very good sense of dressing up also. You'll see that they are very well dressed, very well dressed and very magnetic people. Have you, have you noticed that they are so magnetic? If you are a man uh, and if you are dating a Scorpio woman, you will see that there is some kind of magnetism between you and them and vice versa. If it's, um, it's a male Scorpio, you are dating a man and then you will feel this kind of, you know, very um, very magnetic attraction between both of you and many a times a Scorpio doesn't just want to limit the relationship just to have you know a cup of coffee in a restaurant I don't know I have not gone through all this but still I will tell you something which I found <laughs> which a friend of mine told me with her due permission I'm not going to tell her name so um, she was dating a Scorpio and she said, I mean, she said, I just couldn't control myself. It's just like he looked into my eyes and I was hypnotized. I just couldn't control myself. And I was like, what's that? I mean, you don't have a willpower to say no to things. And no, when you are in the arms of a Scorpio, you just melt. And for them, it is an extremely important thing, the aspect of uniting is extremely important for a Scorpio. Physical love is extremely important for a Scorpio. If there is no physical love, there is no relationship for a Scorpio. Intensity is there, but just emotions will not suffice your Scorpio. They need your mind, body, spirit and soul. They want it all. Because they are. They are the probers. They are the deep people of the zodiac. So whatever is speaking and all this is too superficial for them. They have to bond with you. For them it is something sacred. They need to bond with you. It's sacred for them. If there is no union, there is no relationship. Re when I say union, it means physical union for them is very important for them. 
because they are all about passion, all about uncovering the layers of your soul. And if there is a problem in this department, in your relationship, this is going to create a lot of bitterness. This is going to create a lot of distance, I would say, between you and them. Or the Scorpio will just, you know, if it is a very controlled and self-destructive Scorpio, as most of them are, will just close. If it's a lady, she might just close herself. And if it is a man, he might just look in other directions. It's a bit sad, right? But it is the way they are. This matters to them. You cannot be cold with a Scorpio. It's like when, when you are in a relationship with a Scorpio, it's just like you are holding a fireball inside you, in your hands. And you have to keep on juggling it so that it doesn't burn you. Be it emotions, be it physical love, be it whatever. But you have to know that once that love of Scorpio you get in your life, it is for a lifetime, they will never forsake you. But it depends upon how you take that intensity. If you are a fragile soul, excuse me, the Scorpio is not for you. You please look elsewhere like for a Cancerian who can give you all that you know tenderness, affection. But with a Scorpio, you have to handle this intensity. And you have to know something also about a Scorpio is that they are extremely good at keeping secrets, their own secrets. They themselves are a secret. They themselves are a secret. And you take a lifetime. If you, if you are really interested in mystery, I think Aquarians can pair well with Scorpio if they understand each other. Because Aquarians love mystery and Scorpios are a mystery. But they need to, they need to, you know, you know, because these two signs are extremely misunderstood also. Aquarians, like Pisces, Aquarians and, and uh, Scorpios, they are, they are highly, you know, uh, misunderstood, I would say. So Aquarians, that, that kind of thing that is inside of them to solve mystery and a Scorpio is a mystery. Well, if there is the bond, there the Aquarian tries to understand them, they can be the best pair of the zodiac, I would say. But that needs lots of patience because handling an Aquarian or handling a Scorpio is the, not the most easiest job, I would say, like other signs, which are more predictable. Here everything is unpredictable. A Scorpio can be more predictable than an Aquarian though, okay? Here we are not speaking about matching signs, but just to give you an example. So whatever is the mystery is a Scorpio. They can be the wonderful writers, you know, and they can write on subjects that are a taboo in the society. And they will write it with very strong precision. They can be the wonderful speakers who can charm masses in front of them. They can be those wonderful religious speakers which can transform humanity. They can be wonderful teachers at school. If they are biology teachers or physics teachers or astronomy teachers or biochemistry, microbiology, the way they will, you know, each, each small thing, they will just put it in such a simplified way because they have understood the complexities of the subjects. They have understood the complexity of life and that of human nature. And those of the Scorpios who are of the third type of Scorpios who don't want to accept those complexities, they fall into different kind of addictions. The rest of the Scorpios are usually the most successful people in life. No matter where they go, with all the struggles, you bounce them, you know, you, you, you box them down, they come up, they come up, they come up. And the more they are hurt, the more they will rise. Rising out of the ashes again, all the time. And everyone gets surprises that, oh my God, again, 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 you know. How many times do we have to put this person down, but again this person 
comes and rises to the top. This is what the Scorpios are. Scorpios have to understand something, is that their feelings, their emotions are their treasures and they need to share it with others. And they have to share it with this softness, especially with the ones who are near them. Because the, many times what happens is that the Scorpios can be very harsh with the ones who are extremely near to them, like for example their children, their spouse, their best friend, their lover, their boyfriend, their girlfriend, their parents. They need to understand that those people love them. You all need to understand that, that they love you and you have to soften a bit sometimes. It's necessary. Your life is meant to be that of transformation that means self-transformation you cannot transform others without self transformation you have to die to certain habits of yours that can be so self-destructive and that can maybe destroy something very good in your life maybe it can destroy a person's life maybe it can destroy a family maybe it can destroy your child's life somehow if you don't soften some things, if you don't pardon, I would say, not even soften, it's about pardoning. You don't pardon easily and you need to learn to let go sometimes. Because after all, you have come with all the knowledge of birth and death. You are the knowledgeable, but they are not they are here to learn and if you can teach them in a better way with love without punishing them too much then you don't know what kind of wonders you can make on this earth we need people like you to to really transform people's lives because you know what it is all about. You can be those motivational speakers. You can be those doctors who can, you know, make a very big difference in a patient's life. You can be those nurses who are helping people. You can be those therapists, you can be those psychologists who are reading people's minds and who are transforming their way of looking at things, helping them. You can be the mother who is looking at the child and guiding the child on the good path. You can be the wife who is trying to understand her husband and make a happy living with him or the husband who is trying to achieve whatever it takes to keep his family well protected and happy. Do it with love. That is my only request to you because it's true that their intensity doesn't allow you many a times this nature of inside nature of self-destructive nature many a times doesn't allow you to really live to the fullest potential. Many a times you can create your own challenges, my dear Scorpio. So you need to avoid that part. It's nice to have challenges, but when everything is fine, you don't need to create challenges just because. Sometimes when you are ready to sting that poison, and when you feel like stinging someone, just control your sting and say, no, I'm not going to use it for this purpose. Because the one who can win over others is great. But the one who can win over oneself is the greatest, isn't it? So just be the greatest, my dear Scorpio. And yes, for the health 
I would like to tell you is that Scorpios need to take care of their heart, the circulatory system. Many a time Scorpios can have problem with the ankles, with the backs also. They can have problem with their backs, the, they can have back pains. Many a times they can undergo a surgery for their backs. They can also have problem with their reproductive system and why the reproductive system many a times 95% of the Scorpios can have genital organ problems, reproductive organ problems because this is the part which is dealing with the birth, right dear Scorpio? So this is about the birth part, so this is why this this reproductive system needs to be taken care of very well in a Scorpio body. Yes, so they have to be careful about that. And also, many a times the Scorpios can also have nose bleeding also. The nose bleeds a lot also. Uh, few of them can undergo a surgery in order to stop when it is excessive bleeding. So these are some of the things that the Scorpios have to be very careful about regarding uh, regarding their health and even the varicose veins so walking is extremely important for Scorpios they need to be in uh, you know walking yeah I mean many Scorpios are very good uh, salsa tango dancers also because whatever is the rhythm whatever is the speed they love it they can be the best actors they can be the best politicians there are so many things I mean for a Scorpio they just have to decide what they want to become and they become that. They have to decide the positive side of life always because otherwise the self-destructive nature of the Scorpios can just eat them up and take them to a really wrong path wherein I would not like to mention all those negative things that you can do when you are on the negative path. Yeah, so always stick to that path which will take you towards the light. Scorpio loves the black color because it is the color of the darkness. Whatever is dark attracts you. Whatever is dark means whatever is hidden. But my dear Scorpio, you need to understand something. Yes, many a time Scorpio love to wear black also. They love to wear the black color. Black glasses, black color dress. They can have a black car, a black vehicle. Black attracts them because it's an enigma, it's the mystery that attracts them, it is the color of death that attracts them. But you have to know, my dear Scorpio, you're not just about death, but you are about birth. You're the death sign, but I feel you are the birth sign, birth sign in the sense you're all about birth and death and the one in between. So you are all about the journey you're all about getting light into that darkness, my dear Scorpio. So get light. Wherever there are the dark areas, just shed light on them, my dear Scorpio. Go and help people. We need people like you. You can be the millionaires. We need people like you to donate and to people and to, you know, save poor people. We need speakers like you in order to transform masses. So many people need your guidance today. We need doctors and surgeons like you to save us from medical problems. We need nurses like you to take care of us. Most of the Scorpios who are in medical fields excel to the highest. We need scientists like you. We need spiritual leaders like you. And we need friends like you who are loyal, always loyal. So whenever next time you feel like stinging, just say to yourself, I have something more. I have something more inside of me. And I'm going to use this energy in a positive way. Instead of stinging, I am going to do something else, much more constructive, much more positive, that can get something beneficial, not just to me, but to mankind on a larger scale, my dear Scorpio. So with your velvety voice, <laughs> spread this message of love to everyone, my dear Scorpio. And um, be the zero always, because there is no 
number before it. You are the beginning, right, my dear Scorpio? And you are the end. So thank you, my dear Scorpios. I hope you have liked this video and as your nature goes, uh, you reward those who do a good job and you punish those who haven't. <laughs> so uh, please do like, share and comment and um, please uh, do subscribe to my channel. And um, I really, uh, I am still learning more about you. I'm still on the path. I have not completely fathomed you people. It's been since the age of um, maybe 10 <laughs> that I am uh, trying to unveil the secrets of the Scorpio and I'm halfway there. So it's probably in the future I might come up with some more details about you. So thank you dear Scorpio and all those people who have been watching who have friends and family in, under this sun sign. So thank you very much and uh, stay tuned. Bye bye. Take care. God bless. Bye.